a student today who wants to learn a tune that uh, gets played a lot in sessions with the, the guys that she plays with and play a wide variety of stuff for concert dances and so forth. And uh, one of the tunes that they play is uh, called Round the Horn. It's a tune by Jay Unger. And um, it's in the key of G, G major. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to play every chord that a guitar player or piano player would play. I'm just going to I'm going to demonstrate how you might play along with other people playing this tune. Not try to play every note that the fiddle plays, but sketch in the melody, be the drum, and uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty tune. And so, but it's also kind of, kind of that old spice commercial thing kind of feel, that nautical thing. string is just a sort of a lead-in note, the real first note of the downbeat of the tune. Is this G here. So, those are the first two notes. Bum, diddy, bum. When I say diddy bum, I mean, so I'm going to hit, hit the, that third string open. Diddy, bum. Hitting that third string again. And then, now notice I'm putting both the, fin the fingers down for a D7 chord, um, but I'm just really playing the one that I'm hitting with my middle finger, which is that. But it's habit for me to put them both down. Bum, bum, bum. So if you miss, you're playing a note that's, in, that's a harmony note instead of something that's real dissonant. So... Um, so that note was the next one. And then the next open second string, open first string. So, so far it sounds like this. Now, you're, you have a little... Da, da, uh, da. Um, so you have a little rest. It's a little bit syncopated, this tune, so... you go uh. so you're gonna hit the second string and you're gonna make a C chord um, you hit the second string and then make a C chord and then play the note that your your index finger is so hit that second string This is another way to make a D chord. So seventh fret, just bar it across, and you can do it however you want. You usually won't be able to do it with your hand like this. You'll have to kind of put your thumb um, here to brace against to do a bar chord, even on the banjo. So, so you can do this with various fingers. I usually use my middle, but your mileage may vary. Uh, let's talk for one second about this D chord. This is a D7. Here's a D. And then here's another D. Okay? For old time banjo, those are the, the ones we're going to be most concerned with. Um, so, here's what we have so far. So, bum, bum, that 
That's from the ninth to the fifth, seventh, fourth, fifth, second. So when we get down to this open note, let's kill time by doing a drop thumb. So your thumb then goes to the second string. That's your finger hitting the first string. And then your thumb. just do so this is this note here third string second fret and then hit, hit your second string and then hammer on your third string so it's bum, bum, da, da. and then play that play that third string open now you're gonna play an E minor chord so that's like a C chord but without that third that that uh, index finger doing anything Here's what a C chord sounds like. Those two, uh, those two chords come in really nice together in a tune called White Face. We'll work on that someday. Um, um, starting back up here. <laughs> 